songwriting process mo? Can you take us through how you write? Okay, the songwriting process. That's a really good question. Um, songwriting process, before, it was easy to get really poetic. Like when people ask you or... Diba? So, ka naman ng song para sa ganito, may program kami. Ito yung theme, ito yung concept. Dali, pa, 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 pa. Pero, yung songwriting process ko sa songs na ganito, like the really personal ones, I make it really honest and straight to the point. Although it might sound still poetic, pero mas ano siya eh, mas, it wasn't designed to be like that. It was designed to just get the message across. Yung less palamuti, less sugar coating, and less mad words. I mean, diretsoin mo na na, yun nga, na mahal pa rin kita, na alam ko, bigin tayo ulit. Yung ganun, like that specific. A big influence of this kind of songwriting to me is Vincent Tessus. Vincent Tessus was, is one of the best composers I know. Um, he was also the one who got me involved into theater, but siya kasi, nung pinakinggan ko yung songs niya, ang dami niya rin kasi, parang siya, ang dami siya sulit ng songs for, for musicals and, and, and commercial and radio and TV and film. But when he writes, yung lyrics niya, it's very conversational. Ako, paano tayo mag-usap ngayon? Ganito. Ganito yung lyrics niya. Yung walang paligoy-ligoy. Tapos pag nagpasok siya ng mga metaphors niya, biglang, Saan ang galing yun, di ba? You should look up his, uh, his album, it's on Spotify. Songs to Slash Your Wrist by. Sang by various, uh, a variety of artists, pero lahat yung sulat niya. And, and it's very songwriting process. It's it, matagal ako sa ngayon. Siguro dahil hindi ko siya matuloy-tuloy. Kasi there was never really a point naman talaga na I got to focus on just my music alone. I mean, even though I'm doing this, I still have to, you know, I, I do shows. I, I, yeah. Pero yung medyo matagal kasi hindi ko siya na pupukpok pa sa akin. Pero I make sure that it's still organic. And yung hindi siya yung for show or yung parang kahit ito yung gusto marinig ng tao, ito na gawin ko. Hindi gano'n. Because I'm sure na hindi lang naman sa akin or not just for it. it, it this goes for everyone, not even the songwriters. And the more honest you get, it's scary and it makes people uncomfortable. Honesty makes people comfortable. But makikita mo in the end that it's what people actually relate to, di ba? Kung ano yung mga hindi mo sinasabi, pagkausap mo yung sarili mo sa kwarto, kung ako lang, di naman siguro ako lang yung ganun, di ba? Pero huwag mo yung mga times na ganun na mag-isa ka, or the thoughts that you have yourself, yung mga nahihiya kang ilabas kasi baka i-judge ka. I'm sure that pag nilabas mo yan, yes, you will be judged, but it is also, yun yung mas specific na mayroong mga ibang tao dyan na ganun na ganun din mismo yung pinagdadaanan. Which also leads me to Dun sa, I'm gonna talk about the greater purpose of songwriting for me. Na parang, mm, when I was going through a really, really rough time, siguro sa ngayon masasabi ko yun yung lowest point ng buhay ko. Um, that's what I did. I just put it out there. Open it and then make it. Na parang, because I was empowered by that truth na alam ko, Bukod sa kwento ko to, kwento na ito ng ibang tao. And, and I think yun yung calling ko. I'm gonna get a bit preachy here. I don't like being preachy, but feeling ko yun yung calling ni Lord sa akin. Hindi I mean, ko at na. I was meant to go through all those stuff and kung ano pa man paghandaanan ko. Kasi kaya ko siyang i-put into songs. And ikwento yung stories ng mga tao and kwento ko, di ba? Kasi, um, na-apekto na rin, na at some point in my life, na-apekto na rin ako ng ganun eh, na may pinagdadaanan ka, malala, tapos may narinig kang kanta, tapos yun din pala yun, di ba? Ang nangyayari dito, na-affirm siya nung one of those nights na wala talaga, my best friend sent me a link of a TED talk of evidence. Ebenan Sel, it was, I think, the first time that he spoke uh, publicly about his depression during that time. Then, that was the TED Talk. That was the process of the process. He said that basically, he said that he writes songs, but there was this one time that he didn't have purpose in the song. But afterwards, there was this one person after a gig that came to him just when he was about to give up or stop what he was doing in music. He said to him, thank you because your song saved my life. Something like that. That's what happened to me. And then, it's a cycle. 
what you go through, there are some people who are me meant to actually continue the cycle. Na sa daming tao na nakakarinig ng kanta mo, you know, kahit gano'ng kahit gano kakonti or kadaming streams niya or downloads niya, isang tao lang patamahan mo, isang tao lang mabago mong buhay, tuloy na yung cycle. And that person will hopefully also write the same about his life to help the upcoming. I mean, it's really cliche, but really, the best songs help you go through stuff. But yeah, so ito para pa sa atin na may access to social media. Mas malaking ang kasi ko dito is that paano yung mga tao lang access sa TV? Paano tao iba yung mga nasa bundo? That they don't even have, know that they have mental problems or they don't even know that there's something maybe not normal with them. So, yun talaga yung pinakagol ko. To tell stories, not just here, but also to those people who are unreachable and can't reach the, yung access sa ganitong kind of tools that could help you go through life. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. <laughs>